just not good at this sneaking around business. I suppose I should have taken less time in there. Wow, we can't even get out of the intro before Valenice gets herself killed now. There we go. So, I guess we may as well see if that dog, who apparently hates sticks with a fiery passion, wants this bone instead. It is a bone, right? Guess I should have checked that before we took off. Yep, it's a bone. Alright, onwards! You know, I would do a static transition here, but quite frankly, we're going to have plenty of those as it is. Sorry. Come on, just let me give the dog the bone. Finally. Good dog. Nice dog. <laughs> Gotta love recycled sound effects, huh? There now. You're not such a bad dog after all. And you are not such a bad human. <laughs> it's Sean Connery the dog. This guy's actually going for a Scottish accent. You are the first creature to be kind to me since I lost my master and mistress. Thank you. You poor fellow. What happened to your people? My master was beheaded by Malicia's foul gargoyle and cursed to ride the skies in search of his head. My mistress died of grief shortly thereafter. And I? I tried to defend my home when the boogeyman came to burn it. I failed. Gee, I wonder whose dog this is. Your master was Count Zepish? No, really? He was. I was proud to fight at his side. I would like to help your master. If I recovered his head, do you think the curse would be lifted? We can only hope. Here, take my master's medal. It may help you in the search. And thank you, brave lady. Item exchange. Woo. Aw, how sweet. Makes me want to puke. I'm sure Mrs. Seppish will be glad to get this back. <laughs> Here you are. Does she ever not cry her eyes out? It's locked. <laughs> you re really? I, I just... I would never have guessed. Uh, should you really be crossing the road right now, Valenice? Guess not. Now I know how it feels to be a rabbit in the carriage lights. I should have done something decisive. Like what? Well then, back to the treehouse of plot convenience and MacGuffins. I mean really, where else are you gonna go? That looks dangerous. She picked it up! Yeah, I'm sure a lit firecracker is no threat at all. We'll just, uh, walk around a bit now. 
Okay, so I cut out about five minutes of trying to blow Valonis up, only to discover they fixed that particular feature. So, no funny firecracker deaths for you. Wow, that actually worked. Oh, this guy really liked his dog, huh? Oh my! Poor Count Zepesh! You knew him, Valenice? <laughs> what a bonehead. Alright, well, we'll just wait for the Headless Horseman and give him his skull. A winning plan. But not in the roadway, that would just be suicide. Time now. Ah, there we go. Here you go. Take it, please. Hey! What the hell? Take your freaking skull! Fuck you, Sierra! That's it. I'm gonna go kill Valenys now, just to spite you. believe I got attacked by a, a pile of cranky sticks. Those are bones, not sticks, you idiot. So yeah, you have to give this guy his head back while standing in the roadway. Real smart. This animation is terrible, did you notice? Because I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before. You have lifted the curse that was placed on me, my lady. Tim Curry? I am deeply indebted to you. So we have Sean Connery the dog and Tim Black Curry the horse. What next? Elspeth, my Elspeth. Whoa! Oh, I have missed you. Hot my chick. Love. And I, you, my dearest darling. You have done me an immeasurable kindness. Tell me what I can do for you in return. I must find a way to Etheria, Count Seppish. It is imperative. I have heard that you may be able to help me. And drop that ridiculous accent! Consider it done. I will give you the use of my horse. Here, take this fife. With it, you can call him to take you to Etheria. Once there, you cannot summon him, for he will not be able to hear you. But he will always come to you anywhere on this surface lands. So we have backtracking means now. Hooray! Thank you, Count. It is nothing. Fly, Necromancer! Carry the lady to Etheria! You named your horse Necromancer. Like dead stuff much? Whoa! Talk about a tonal shift. Okay, well then I guess we'll explore Etheria. It's like we just walked into a Disney animated film. <laughs> 